So you guys got a seal that's bad in your gearbox? No problem. This video today is going to show you how to do it very easily. One way to know if you got a problem with the seal is obviously it's leaking. Okay? It's a common problem in these. You hit something big or whatever, the seal gets distorted and it starts to leak. I'm going to show you guys how to do this very easily. No need to take it to the dealer and spend a bunch of money. This, this will take you about 10 minutes of your time. All right, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a 788029 oil seal from Peerless. Peerless is the manufacturer that makes these uh, gearboxes. It looks just like this. You're going to need a deep socket, which is going to go over this shaft here to tap your, uh, your um, new seal in. You're going to need a pair of snap ring pliers. These pliers here are going to get this snap ring off of the box itself. And you may need a flathead screwdriver to help aid get this, getting this off, okay, once you break it loose with the snap ring pliers. And there's one other thing that I don't have here that I'm going to grab in a minute. It's going to be a hammer. And that's going to be to lightly tap on this socket once you get it, once you get the new seal started. Tap it on the socket to make sure you put the seal in evenly, okay? So let me get that now. All right, so first things first, you want to take your snap ring pliers. You want to put it in the hole to the actual snap ring itself. And then you want to squeeze. This is going to compress the spring. Oop, and it fell off. Now that I got the spring compressed, once I get it recompressed, take this trusty old screwdriver. There it is. There's the snap ring. That's step number one. Number two, there's a flat washer here that needs to come out next. So what I like to do, take the screwdriver, give it some taps, loosen it up. Okay, there's the washer right there. Now the last step is getting the seal out, which is this one right here. So I don't have a seal puller, but I'm gonna show you how I get the seal out. I'm gonna drill a hole here and a hole here, and I'm gonna put a self-tapping screw in there, a metal one, and I'm gonna, that's gonna um, thread into there real tight and it's gonna enable me to pull out the seal. So let me show you how that's done. Okay guys, I got a small drill bit here, as you can see. You don't need anything big. You wanna drill the hole smaller than what your screw is, so when you put your screw in, it's got metal to bite into. I'm gonna drill on this side here, and I'm gonna drill a hole on this side here, and I'm gonna thread my screw in. Okay, that's it for the drilling of the holes. I put one on each side. Here's the screw I'm using. It's a little overkill, but it's all I have. It's a um, self-tapping sheet metal screw. So I'm gonna thread that in. You saying hi to YouTube, buddy? Oh yeah, the seal's are already starting to come out. Daddy, 
You are helping me. All right, so the seal's already like halfway out. Uh, the screws that I put in there are, are long enough to where it's actually pushing the seal out. But this is what you do. You take your screwdriver, just like this, and you pry, you pry behind the screws itself. Yeah. Just like that. You don't have to go crazy, because the seal's gonna come out. Crazy. Just like that. And of course you're gonna lose some oil. That's fine. But there you go, guys. Easy do-it-yourself seal puller. That's all you need. All right, so this seal, as you can see, hi. is no good. Hi, So let's put the new one in. Say hi to YouTube, bud. Yeah. I like to see the camera. <laughs> well, leave the camera there so Daddy can finish the video, okay? So a little trick for you guys. Put some oil on your finger. Put it on the seal itself, on the rubber part. So when you slip it over the shaft, it's not gonna tear the seal. Okay? So when you go to put it on, it goes on like, like this. Slowly work it in there. You made it? What's that, buddy? You made my walker mower. This is your walker mower. See how I got the seal started? I'm gonna finish it off with this socket here. I'm gonna lightly tap on it. You see the seal starting to go in, guys? That's what you wanna see. The socket helps aid this in evenly, okay? Because the last thing you want to do is take a screwdriver like this and start hammering it in because you're going to poke a hole through this metal, this metal casing and you're going to dent the seal. That's not what you want to do. So I'm lightly just going to keep tapping this in a little more. And that's that, guys. That's how that's done. And take your finger, make sure you got a good seal around the uh, the shaft here. Make sure nothing funky's going on with the gasket, which there isn't. I can tell by looking at it. Nice. So that's how that's done. So to get the snap ring back in, what I like to do is put one side first inside of the groove. It helps give me a little leverage on it. And then it snaps in just like that. I'm gonna take my screwdriver just to make sure that it's snapped in and it is. Give it a little wipe down. Wipe up my little bit of a mess on the floor. There you go, guys. Not much to it. You just saved yourself well over, I don't know, 150 bucks maybe. I think a shop's gonna charge you a minimum of an hour to do this. I'm not quite sure, but that's just my estimate. So if I can help you guys save money, that's what my channel's all about. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be uh, glad to hear from you. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.